What's up vlog? So today, uh, it's been a while since I did something like this. We're going to do a really nice unboxing. I've never been this excited to unbox a phone or a smartphone for a long, long, long time. I know you guys saw my iPhone 7 and 7 Plus video uh, from way back, which I'll link below. But when I got the iPhone 7 Plus, I wasn't as excited as I am today. Because today, we have the Google Pixel XL. So what's so nice about the Google Pixel XL? Well, this is the first smartphone designed designed by, by Google from the inside and out. In terms of manufacturing, the one who guys who actually made it were HTC, but you won't even find HTC anywhere in the box. This is really marketed and created uh, by Google to be able to take on the iPhone. So what we're going to do this episode is we're going to open this baby up, take a look at what's inside, and maybe do some initial impressions of the device. But before we get to the unboxing of this one, please do uh, subscribe to the channel below. Just hit the subscribe button down. I'll appreciate it a lot. It will keep on encouraging me to keep on making videos like this one. And with that, let's get right to it. What do you think of the iPhone 7? I'm an Android fan, but I might be biased. So that's it for our initial unboxing. You guys saw everything that was there. Um, I have the phone right here. Um, looks really nice. I'll be playing with it uh, in the coming days. And hopefully I'll give you guys a few more videos about it. What I'm thinking of doing is doing like comparison videos uh, with, the, um, with the Pixel XL and with the iPhone uh, 7 plus that I have here we can do like photography checks uh, feature matchups and all of that stuff so expect that to come in the coming days I'll probably even have one video up during this weekend so you guys already get the feel for what I have in store for the XL now for the XL very quickly initial impressions it is by far the nicest looking Android experience in terms of software and UI UX I've ever seen in my life this thing is gorgeous easy to use fantastic all of the hyperboles that you can think of when it comes to design of the actual software. Never thought that Android would ever come close to the ease of use that you would get with iOS. If there is one phone that can deliver that, I think this is it. In terms of design and you know overall build, it's all metal at the back. You have a really nice glass here. You have this weird looking thing, which I do not understand why it's there. Fingerprint sensor here, not really easy to use because it's not intuitive to do like that when you want to open your phone. Uh, usually you look for it here at the bottom with the fingerprint sensor like Samsung or iPhone does it. But overall, so far, in the first hour that I've been using it, well, first hour, really happy, but please do check back in the coming days when we do the full review of the Google Pixel XL. Uh, if you guys want it, it's already available in Widget City. I'll link it down below. That's where I actually got this unit. Uh, with that, peace. See you guys in the next video.